In this video, we're going to talk about the top 10 wealthiest Arab billionaires. So before starting, please do like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. In 2023, men from Egypt, Algeria, the United Arab Emirates, Lebanon, and Oman will make up the top 10 richest Arabs. The combined wealth of these 22 people is $53.4 billion. Regardless of how challenging 2020 was, it wasn't a concern for the wealthiest people in the world. Last year wasn't a downturn for those billionaires. Rather, it was a boom. The number of billionaires has increased by 660 since 2020, including 493 newcomers who have never appeared on the Forbes list. Here's a list of the top 10 richest Arab billionaires in the world in 2023. Number 10. Suhail Bawan. He is Omani and has a $2.3 billion fortune. The founder and chairman of Sahel Bawan Group, one of the biggest Oman conglomerates, he is 82 years old. His company produces 1.3 million tons of urea every year and specializes in the production of fertilizers. He also owns dealerships for BMW and Nissan. Before acquiring the Toyota dealership in 1977, he started a business with his brother Saud in 1965, selling fishing nets and construction supplies. He broke off his relationship with his brother in 2002. The latter kept the Toyota dealership and left it to Mohammed following his father's passing. Number 9. Hussein Sejuani. Damak Properties, a luxury real estate developer based in Dabar that Hussein Sejuani formed in 2002, has him as its chairman. He has a $2.4 billion net worth. He got his start in the restaurant industry, serving the U.S. military and construction giant Betchel. He switched to real estate in 2001 once Dubai permitted foreigners to purchase homes. In less than six months, he sold apartments in a residential complex. He collaborated with Donald Trump in 2013 to build two golf courses in Dubai that use the Trump name. He has co-branding agreements with Bugatti and Versace. He is a wealthy businessman with the Emirate. Sejuani has been named on the lists of the 100 most powerful Arabs by Arabian business and Gulf business, respectively, for the years 2018 and 2019. The oldest of five kids is Hussein Sejuani. His parents were both business owners. His father was a trader who had a store in the neighborhood Souk, where he sold watches, Parker pens, clothes, and merchandise from China. Number 8. Taha Makidi. He is Lebanese and has a $2.5 billion net worth. In 1982, he and his brother, Majid Makidi, co-founded Investcom and MI Group, two investment firms with offices in Beirut. He established the largest construction firm in the Middle East, Arabian construction company ACC, which has its headquarters in Abu Dhabi in 1979. In the 1980s, Taha Makidi and his brother, Najib, established the Lebanese telecom provider Investcom. He has three kids, is married, and resides in Beirut, Lebanon. Azmi Makati, his son, is the CEO of M1 Group. He acquired Cypriot citizenship in July 2018. Number 7. Majib Makati he and his brother, Taha Makidi, are the co-founders of the investment company MI Group, which is situated in Beirut. He has shares in MTN, a South African telecommunications company, Pepe Jeans, a fashion store, and real estate in New York, London, and Monaco. At the height of Lebanon's civil conflict, he and his brother, Taha, formed Investcom in 1982 and started selling satellite phones. Number 6. Mohamed Mansour Egyptian billionaire Mohamed Mansour has a $2.5 billion net worth. He's in charge of the 60,000-person family conglomerate Mansour Group, which his father, Loutfi, deceased 1976, started in 1952. He was a politician who served as Hosni Mubarak's administration's minister of transportation for Egypt from 2006 until 2009. According to Income, his business ranks second in Egypt. Head of private equity Armand Capital is his son, Loutfi. One of Alexandria's most illustrious business dynasties gave birth to Mohammed Mansour. Nine of Egypt's top Fortune 500 firms are under the hands of the family business. Mansour Group, despite the fact that it had to withstand being nationalized and having its assets seized in 1965. Number 5. Abdullah bin Ahmad Al-Gharrer 
Abdullah bin Ahmad al Gharer has a $2.8 billion net worth. He now ranks fifth in terms of wealth among Arabs. The United Arab Emirates is where he's from. He established Mashrek Bank, a prestigious bank in the United Arab Emirates in 1967. He later resigned as chairman but continued to serve on the board. Real estate, construction, and cuisine are all interests of his holding firm, which bears his name. A non-family member is also a member of the executive team. His construction company was involved in developing the Dubai Metro. It also built the Burj Khalifa's external cladding, the highest structure in the world. Number 4. Naguib Soriris An Egyptian with a net worth of $3.2 billion, he is the brother of billionaire Nasef Soriris. Naguib made his wealth in the telecom industry, selling Arascom Telecom in 2011 in a multi-billion dollar deal to Russian telecom company Vempelcom, now Vion. He serves as the chairman of Arascom TMT Investments, a company with holdings in an asset management in Egypt, among other places. Soriris has four kids and is married. He's a Cairo resident. He is fluent in French, German, English, and Arabic. With a personal wealth of $3.2 billion as of 2021, Soares was ranked as the eighth richest person in Africa by Forbes magazine. Christian Compt Soares, his son Anzi, wed in one of Cairo's largest churches in May 2022, and a sizable celebration was held beneath the pyramids for the reception. Number 3. Majid al Fatim, The creator of the retail and entertainment behemoth, Majid al Fatim Holding, or MAF, Majid al Matim has a net worth of $3.6 billion. In 1992, he launched the business. His business owns and runs 26 malls, including the Mall of Egypt in Cairo, as well as 13 hotels. While non family individuals run the conglomerate, whose annual revenues and profits are disclosed, his son Tariq sits on the board. Number 2. Isad Rabrab. Isad Rabrab, a multi billionaire businessman from Algeria, serves as CEO of Sevital Industrial Group, the country's biggest private enterprise. This business operates in the steel, food, agricultural, and electronics industries. One of the biggest sugar refineries in the world is owned by Isad Rebrab, the French home appliance manufacturer Group Brandt, an Italian steel mill, and a German water purification firm are just a few of the European businesses owned by Civital. His total net worth is $4.8 billion, the second richest Arabs, are he and his family. Family. Isad Rabrab is also Algeria's richest person. Rabrab paid $45 million to acquire the El Kabar Media Group in 2016. He had already invested in the French Algerian daily newspaper Liberate, making this his second media venture. In April 2022, he closed the paper. Following his detention as part of a corruption investigation, Rabrab was sent behind bars in the jail of El Harach on April 22, 2019, at the public prosecutor's request. He was released on January 1, 2020, having served more time in detention than the six months he was ultimately given for attacks, banking, and customs crimes. Number 1. Nasif Soares in 2023, Nasef Soares, the wealthiest Arab in the world, will still be living in Egypt. His projected net worth in October 2021 was $8.3 billion. He's also the second richest person in Africa after the business tycoon Aliko de Gauti of Nigeria. The most valuable asset that Soares owns is a nearly 6% investment in the apparel company Adidas. He also oversees OCI, one of the biggest producers of nitrogen fertilizer in the world with facilities in Texas and Iowa. Soares has made significant investments in sports franchise ownership, particularly in association football, the football club holding company V Sports, which owns the Premier League team Aston Villa 18, and has a deal to buy a 46% part in the Premiera Liga, Squan Victoria SC, is owned by Sawiris and the billionaire Wes Edens. A major league soccer team in Las Vegas is also being discussed by V-Sports and the moniker Las Vegas Villains has been registered under American and European copyright. So what do you think about our video? Do let us know in the comment box below. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates, and we'll see you in the next one.